Was that a yes or? Sophia, please join us. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, do you remember uh, Carmine's daughter? Yeah. yeah. Sophia, I thought you were still at, uh... Arkham? Yeah. No. I've been rehabilitated. We're back with Colin Farrell, and that was a clip from The Penguin. Uh, wonderful. First episode, wonderful. Kristen Milioti there. Amazing. And it's really, uh, you know, uh, Kristen, who I know, a lovely person. Yeah. Um, you know, she shows up here. And terrifying. More scary than the penguin. Yeah, terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. And iron, it's really iron, fun to watch you be afraid of her. Iron fist and a somewhat velvet love. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? At the start. And then we get into her backstory. Episode four is, is majoritively her story. And we get to see what happened to her when she was, no spoiler alerts, when she was put, sent away to Arkham and what she had to go through. And the characters, as designed by Lauren, were really, um, there's not an attempt to justify any of the behaviors, but as is the case, I think, with all good drama, there's an opportunity to try and understand why the characters are the way they are. And Kristen was terrifying. She was fantastic. She's a fantastic yeah. actor. I will say, I do, I thought the script was fantastic as well, because, you know, uh, Oswald Cobblepot's not a likable person, but you explain, are explain so yourself. well. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, totally. But he's so, but you're murder. so. Uh, you play him so needy. Yeah. Like he needs connection. He wants to be someone who's loved. I mean, I don't want to call him pathetic, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a very, he's a very pathetic. No, he's but very. But you find yourself, you know, and again, I should say, you know, I, I'm not giving much away, but like, you know, he he does terrible things in the first episode, yeah. but you do find yourself rooting for him. Yeah. Like, when you approach it, is that something you're trying to do? I'm like, not I'm trying gonna... to elicit sympathy, honest yeah. to God. Like, really, if 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 sympathy is elicited, then that's, you know, Lauren did a great job and, and I'm doing all right, or the makeup's doing it's what it should do, because he is a very multifaceted character. And, and there is a kind of a sense, there is a sense of sorrow to him and a sense of loneliness. He has been treated cruelly by the world. I think he wears all that, and it's very apparent. By the end of the eight hours, I don't think anyone will feel pity for him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a dark descent into psychopathy. There is also, I should say, which I was uh, sort of happy to experience, there, it's also, there's some comedy in it. It yeah. seems like a fun, I mean, it seems like you're having fun. I, was, I had a blast. Which had a blast it also it. does not seem like it would be fun to be in all that stuff. It was fun. I enjoyed, like, the process was three hours in the morning um, and about 45 minutes to get out of the makeup. But I love the makeup team that we had. Uh, Val, Bobby, Stella, Crystal, and the two mics. Um, it was amazing. We had our own penguin trailer. We'd go in in the morning, have the coffee, have a shave, sit in the chair, start the clock. Three yeah. hours, we'd shoot the breeze, play music. I'd look at my script and get ready for the day ahead. So that three hours was kind of meditative in a way. And then, we well, yeah, got I old. wish, I got by the way, I wish, because my kids are young, I wish I needed to sit still for three hours a day. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, I wish I could say to them, like, help, but we can't find our Legos. I'm like, I'm yeah. getting into the penguin <laughs> yeah, makeup. Totally. Yes, I'm having my coffee and listening to 80s music <laughs> with my friends, the makeup yeah. crew, the makeup misfits. But is it true that you uh, pitched Slender uh, Penguin before you took I the song? I did, yeah. yeah. I, I, I Slender Penguin, <laughs> hilarious. A ridiculous an idea. Well, that's what Matt thought as well. I did, I met Matt Reeves to talk about, when I heard he wanted to talk about the Penguin, uh, or me doing the Penguin, I was just giddy. Yeah. I mean, I really was. Because as I said to somebody at the, we had the premiere last night and somebody asked me a question about it and they asked me if I liked it or if I was, uh, I say, if I was happy with it, and I said, I don't know what that means, like it's a fair yeah. question, but I wouldn't know how to be happy about any of it. But I'm really grateful that I'm in the thing because I, I realized I was a seven year old child sitting on the carpet watching, yeah, sure. Burgess Meredith, <laughs> you know, and then Danny DeVito's. Fantastic. You know, fantastic. And I've yet to see Robin Lord Taylor, who I believe is brilliant in he's Gotham. Great. I yes. can't wait. I hear it from everyone he's brilliant. I'm really gonna enjoy that now um, that we've done this. But yeah, so just come at it from a from a fan standpoint, you know, it's it's incredible really to be a part of it, part of that lineage. It is very dark. Did you find you had to do uh, things to get out of uh, the dark place when you were sort of finished with it? I mean, it? I, I, I saw it a lot as a general rule in life and I have done for, for years, ever since actually the first time I got into a habit of, of going to the bathhouse was 10th Street here, yeah. as the case for many people. And ever since that, which was what, 20 years ago when I got clean, um, yeah, saunas are a huge thing for me, physically and, and just for me, noggin as well, yeah. and run. Yeah, yeah, and that was it. But the days where, you know, by the end of it, I did, I, I do remember 
reading about Jim Carrey having a bit of a tricky time on the Grinch. <laughs> yeah. And maybe not loving the whole makeup and suit <laughs> yeah. and Grinch thing by it, the yeah, end. Yeah, at some point there's not yeah, enough Yeah, so I, I did look up, but I was thinking, you know, a support group for people who are buried under mounds of prosthetics. <laughs> you know, just... Well, but, uh, yeah. we, uh, we do appreciate your sacrifice because it's a great product. That was a and blast, man. More importantly, good luck in a month in Dublin. Thanks, Very brother. excited uh, yeah. for you and your friend. Emma, was it? Emma. Emma. Thank Best you. of luck to you both. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Colin Farrell, everybody. The Penguin premieres this Thursday and then episodes air on Sunday nights at 9 p.m. on Max and HBO. Stick around. We'll be right back with Ashley Park.